Hello friends, this is Casey at the Bodies Homestead and in today's video I'm bringing you an article Grocery Store Shelves Aren't Going Back to Normal This Year and this is from CNN Business. If you hoped grocery stores this fall and winter would look like they did in the before times with limitless options stretching out before you in the snack, drink, candy, and frozen food aisles get ready for some disappointing news. Many of the country's biggest food makers are telling grocers that they will have limited quantities of a number of their products, including items such as Rice Krispie Treats, Sour Patch Kids, Ben & Jerry's Ice Cream Flavors, McCormick Gourmet Spices, and Marie Callender's Pot Pies because of labor, commodity, and transportation constraints throttling supply chains, according to the emails viewed by CNN and interviews with grocers. Some suppliers are also telling grocers to cancel their promotions of these items and more over the holidays so products won't disappear from the shelves as quickly. The shelves as quickly. These latest limits mean that stores won't have all the things for the customers heading into the holidays and shoppers may not be able to find some of their favorite products, flavors, or niche items. But shoppers will still have plenty of options, including most of these companies' core products, which they are prioritizing over items in less demand. Meaning, for instance, that if you're a fan of Ben & Jerry's popular fish food, you shouldn't have a problem, but the company's less well-known cold brew caramel latte might be harder to find. Major food and consumer product manufacturers being short of supply on some items will be a challenge in the grocery industry in the final months of the year, said Steve Howard, vice president of merchandising at Bristol Farms, a grocery chain in California. Suppliers are warning the company of potential shortages of foods, glass jars, and packaging containers. In response, Bristol Farms is working to bring in inventory earlier than any other holiday ever, Howard said. Purchase limits from manufacturers were rare before the pandemic and are creating lesser than full conditions for customers in Mort Williams stores, said Steve Schwartz, director of sales at New York chain area. Morton Williams is trying to tap secondary suppliers when its primary vendors for food and household essentials can't fulfill orders. It's not your ideal situation, Schwartz said. Some customers have been forgiving when they are unable to find what they're looking for, but others just want to know why they can't get their item. Shortages at grocery stores are now nowhere near as visible as they were at the beginning of the COVID-19 outbreak. When shoppers flock to stores to stockpile food and household staples. But, in, but supply in grocery store aisles has not fully recovered to pre-pandemic levels and companies such as Costco and Sam's Club have recently reinstated purchase limits for customers on paper products and cleaning supplies. Around 18% of beverages, 15% of frozen foods, 16% of snacks, 15% of candy, and 18% of bakery items were out of stock at stores during the week ending on October 3rd. So that, that's, those are some pretty decent percentages. According to the latest data from IRI, which tracks in stock levels of leading U.S. grocery chains, big box stores, pharmacies, and wholesale clubs. Before the pandemic, 7-10% to 10 of products were typically out of stock on shelves, according to IRI. When the supply is tight, manufacturers often eliminate some of their fringe items to focus on ramping up production of the top-selling products, says Davey, president of IRI's strategic analysis practice. They also tend to cut products that are more expensive to make according to Davey. This makes sense on why you can't find a lot of your like favorite sodas or snacks or things like that because they're focusing on what's extremely popular, what they're used to making, what sells the most, things like that. The new norm. Some food brands are imposing allocations of purchase caps for certain products on grocery stores and distributors, while other vendors are warning more generally of limited availability. Suppliers typically put products on allocation when there are short supply shortfalls. The allocations have not been confined to one area of the country or a single type of retailer, said an executive at a leading regional wholesaler. Instead, they are happening nationally, according to the executive who spoke on the condition of anonymity to protect the company's relationships with suppliers and other wholesalers. But the limits could pose particular challenges for independent grocers who have raised concerns in the past year that suppliers prioritize larger competitors over smaller stores. Now, I'm not 100% sure that's true because Walmart is a huge large competitor and they seem to be suffering the worst. I'm not sure how it is in your area, but here in Northern California, Walmart and Costco 
are way more sold out than other stores like Safeway or Save Mart. So now with that being said, those stores are a lot more money. They sell things at a much higher price. So maybe that's because the mass majority of people shop at Costco and Walmart because it's more affordable. And because of that, that's why they're seeing. I'm not 100% sure. Kellogg told at least four grocery distributors last month in an email that Pringles Snack Stacks, Eggo Pancakes, Morningstar Farms Plant-Based Hot Dogs and Bacon will be on allocation, and Rice Krispie Treat Snacks will remain below service expectations through the end of the year. The company also requested that stores cancel their promotions for Rice Krispies and Corn Pop cereal to allow for recovery. Kellogg said in the email that it was experiencing constraints in capacity and packaging materials and labor pressure. This was before 1,400 Kellogg factory workers went on strike Tuesday. So this is another example of how people need time to recover, quote. I don't know uh, if you saw, I didn't do an article on it because so many other channels did, but August and Farms recently put out a letter saying for the next 90 days they would not be making any sales. Because they need time to recover as well. They just don't have the product in and they don't want to accept any more orders because they can't fulfill them. 90 days. That's three months. The four distributors shared an email with CNN Business on the condition of anonymity to avoid jeopardizing their relationships with suppliers. So there's a picture of the Rice Krispie Treats there. Chris Banner, a spokesperson for Kellogg, said in an email that the company has seen increased demand since the start of the pandemic as people eat more meals at home. Banner said the company works with retailers to ensure our food flows through their systems and in instances where capacity is tight, limits orders over certain time periods. The company did not say how many retailers received allocation notifications. Mandalas is experiencing limited availability on items such as Sour Patch Kids and Swedish Fish Candy. Tobleron Toblerone one, Toblerone one, chocolate and Hall's cough drops due to supply chain constraints. The company said in October 1st, October, in an October one email to distributor. Mandela is estimated in the email that the recovery date for these items will be February or March of next year. A spokesperson for the multinational food and beverage company in an, e in an email that the company is facing high demand labor and logist log logistic challenges. Mandela believes it is relatively well positioned to face the marketplace challenges and will continue to keep a close eye on things to get products to retail customers and shoppers on time. The company also did not say how many retailers receive limits on such items, but said we prepare communications with our sales team has the ability to use as appropriate as they engage with their customers. Unilever told a distributor in an email on September 14th that labor shortages continued to drive a limited ability to meet demand and it was deprioritizing production on certain products including Ben & Jerry's cold brew caramel latte, ice cream, Sammy flavors, Breyers vanilla fudge twirl, ice cream, and firecracker popsicles until we're able to return to a supply steady state. The company said it would instead focus labor hours on our top selling items. So and basically they're giving you an example by giving you these names. These are not just the only, they're not just going to get rid of three kinds and or four things and then still have all the other ones. There's going to be a much larger impact on the variety. And I've been saying this for a while in my videos. There will be food. There will be items, but your variety is going to come down to just a few. And with inflation, the prices are going to be sky high. Like many sectors, at times there are challenges in getting all of our product to the stores for a variety of reasons related to the supply and distribution, a Unilever spokesperson told CNN said in an email. Packaging issues also continue to be a problem. For example, some seasons, seasonings are in a tight supply due to challenging procuring glass bottles. A McCormick representative said in an email to two distributors on September 20th that our U.S. bottle supplier shut down due to a CV-19 related issue and we have not received bottles for several weeks for its gourmet spices line. The lack of bottles has impacted our production and is eroding our safety stock across the entire line, the representative said. As a result, McCormick said it would ship approximately 70% of what it had previously forecast and the company was encouraging customers to cancel their promotions in November and December for the spices line. 
Lori Robinson, a spokesperson for McCormick, said in an email to CNN Business that Gourmet is the only product line impacted by this packaging shortage and that the company's more recognizable red cap spices will be in fully stock fully in stock throughout the holidays, which customers can use as a substitute for the gourmet spices, she said. The company did not say how many retailers received allocation notifications on gourmet seasonings. And some sizes of Marie Callender's frozen pot pies could be harder to find. Canagra said in a September 27th email to a distributor that it was putting allocation on Marie Callender's 10-ounce and 15-ounce pot pies until November 29th because it encountered packaging packing material challenges from a tray and carton supplier resulting in a production interruption. Canagra did not respond to requests for comment. Che Huang, CEO of online bulk goods retailer Box, said allocations are the new norm. From food and packaged goods, makers are and are impacting the levels of products it's stocked at Box. Still, he said, the industry is better off than we were this time last year. Okay, guys, so that's the article. Do with it what you will. I will continue to urge you to stock your pantry and prep upon the things that you love and that your family loves. And I do still believe that things are going to get worse before they get better. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye-bye.